Hi, my name is Kong Wick. I head up the data teams in AirAsia. It was actually uh, quite an accident, uh, just like many other things uh, in life. If you look at uh, the phrase data science, it consists of two words, data and science. Uh, I was trained as a researcher. Uh, when I was working at, uh, uh, at a research institute in Singapore, uh, my areas of uh, research was in AI, as well as operations research. And after I left the institute, I landed, ended up in a, in a startup that was working on big data. And so all this came together, uh, AI, operations research, and big data. And subsequently, uh, I joined Grab, uh, which was able to leverage a lot of all the things that I've learned and that I was trained in. And moving on to AirAsia is a very natural step for me because AirAsia has bigger problems to solve. Uh, the problems are much more complicated and are much more challenging. It's like uh, living my life all over again, doing science, doing research, with uh, the luxury of uh, lots of data to play with. So uh, when I joined AirAsia in February this year, I inherited a decent-sized team, about 40 over team members. Off the top of my head, about a handful of data scientists, just a handful. Uh, most of them were data analysts and uh, data engineers. And so if you were to look at uh, the proportion of data scientists that we, we had, it was uh, very low. Since then, till now, we have been emphasizing a lot on building up uh, additional and the necessary uh, capabilities within the data teams. Uh, and furthermore, we don't want to have the kind of restrictions that a lot of companies have, that is, where we don't have enough data engineers, we don't have enough data analysts, we don't have enough data scientists. So what we have been doing so far is to put everyone through a cross-training program. That is, we want the data engineers to pick up skills uh, like a data analyst, like a data scientist. We want the data scientists to learn to build pipelines, to learn to build dashboards, and we want the data analysts you know, to do everything. Right? So, so that, uh, you know, we'll be able to, uh, to allocate uh, our resources uh, more efficiently and uh, more conveniently. And this is also good for the team members because they get to uh, get trained right, uh, in other areas of uh, big data. And uh, I think this is very useful for them as, as well as for the company. So uh, as many of us have read uh, from the internet about how we are going to transform into a digital travel company, so what does that really mean? If you look at a typical traveler today who flies on air Asia flights, uh, how's the experience like? Uh, let's ask ourselves the question, is that really uh, delightful? Is that really uh, something that makes you go wow? You see the same uh, web page, you see the same interface for everyone. I think that's boring. So how we intend to leverage data science is to make use of the data that we have uh, collected from our customers, not just uh, passengers who fly with us, but also our guests who stay in our hotels, our tourists who have taken tours, uh, people who have shopped in our duty-free online shop, and combine all this data to understand our, our, our customers uh, even better. So much so that will create a unique experience for every customer, and for every passenger, for every hotel guest. And we want this to make it easier for them to book, for example, a flight and a hotel, and also a tour, and perhaps to rent a car. And we want to do this in a very seamless and very frictionless uh, manner. I think that is uh, one of the goals that we want uh, to achieve. And this is where uh, data science comes into play, whereby we make use of uh, the models and the algorithms that we build, right, uh, to understand our customers uh, better. Cost is something that uh, we can control. Our airlines operations is a very typical airlines business, whereby you have uh, machines, you have human beings, you have processes, and all these entities when put together Right? And if they are not well coordinated, you'll be able to find a lot of opportunities whereby you can improve on the operations or efficiency. And all this translates into cost savings. So if you were to look around uh, the airport uh, uh, hangars, uh, the apron on the ground, and you see parts, machines, people moving around, there are plenty of opportunities whereby you can, you can squeeze some operational efficiency out of. So that's our, that's our challenge.
to find all these opportunities and to leverage on the data, right? And to improve on all these processes. But as an internet company, as a company that relies on building uh, the trust between itself and its customers, I would say that being customer obsessed right, should be the primary goal. If you are unable to deliver best value propositions for our customers, then let's not talk about revenue. It's only when we are able to build the trust, then we will get loyalty. And with loyalty, we get revenue. And everything else will just come naturally. So we should always go back to the fundamentals. Why are we in this business? Who are our customers? Are we serving them properly? Are we observing them?